Hello everyone and welcome! Not just welcome to this video, but welcome to another exciting development in Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Yes folks, we have a brand new DLC coming out on the 28th of April titled Dynasties of India. This DLC is perhaps the most anticipated edition yet, as it introduces three new civilizations and three new campaigns for us to dive into. In this video, I'll be giving you a breakdown of the new SIDS, including the changes to what was known as the Indians, and I have a very special guest joining me to talk about some of the history surrounding these SIDS, and very importantly, he'll be helping us with pronunciation of all the new terms and texts we'll be encountering as part of the DLC. In fact, let me introduce you to him now. Alien713 is a dear friend of mine, a map editor beast, a super moderator of my chat, and a dude with an incomparable passion for Age of Empires. Here he is now to give you a full rundown of our three new civilizations dropping later this month. First of all, we have the Bengalis. They are based on the Pala Empire, which stretched about halfway across modern North India and Bangladesh during the 8th to the 12th century CE. Their unique unit is the Rat, which is a chariot, and their unique texts are pikes, which literally mean pikes, and Mahayana, which is a branch of Buddhism. Some terms that you might encounter in the campaigns are Devapala, who was the third ruler of the Pala Empire, and Parinirvana, which is the achievement granted for accumulating 100 piety points in the Enlightenment campaign. Next, we have the Dravidians. They are based on the Chola dynasty, which covered most of modern South India from the 9th to the 13th century CE. Their unique units are the Urumi swordsmen, who wield an Urumi, which is a flexible whip-like sword, and Thirisadai, which was the heaviest class of warships in the Chola navy. Capable of carrying about 400 people, the ship was large and heavily armored. The name Thirisadai means three braids, where braid is another term for oil fire during the Chola period. True to its name, the ship is supposed to fire multiple projectiles. Some terms that you might encounter in the campaigns are Rajendra Chola, who was the ruler of the Chola Empire, and Rashtrakuta, which is the wonder that you need to destroy in the liberation campaign to get the construction cancellation achievement. Their unique texts are medical corpse and wood steel. Lastly, we have the Gurjars. They are based on the Gurjar Pratihar dynasty, which included parts of modern West and North India from the 8th to the 11th century CE. Their unique units include the Chakram Thrower, where a Chakram is a metallic disc that is used for both ranged and melee combat, and the Srivansh Riders, where Srivansh was a breed of horses. And their unique texts are Kshatriyas, whose name is based on one of the four castes dividing people into four main categories. They are the Brahmins, who are the Pandits and the Priests, Kshatriyas, who are the Kings, Warriors and Noblemen, Vaishyas, who are the Civilians, and the Shudras, who were Laborers. And their second tech is Frontier Guards. Some names that you might encounter in the campaigns are Dalat Khan, who was the governor of Lahore in the Lodi dynasty, his uncle Alam Khan, Rajputs, who were a clan or group of people originating from Rajasthan, and Panipat, which was the battlefield where the battles of Panipat were fought. Another exciting element to the Dynasties of India DLC being released is that we will see what has been the Indian civilization changed to the Hindustanis. 
we now have a hot new Civ emblem, a spicy new musical theme, and a bunch of interesting changes to the Civ identity and tech tree. Summarized here, we can see that the Fisherman bonus and the extra armor for stable units in Castle and Imperial Age has been removed. Instead, the Hindustani Camel Riders attack 25% faster, their gunpowder units receive extra armor, and there is a new unique building called the Caravanserai, which can be built in the Imperial Age. This building heals and increases the speed of trade cards in a 10 tile radius. The team bonus has been changed from camel units having plus 4 attack against buildings, to now being that camel and light cav units have plus 2 attack versus buildings. Now I'll hand the metaphorical talking stick back to Alien for an overview of the Hindustani unique units and techs. The previously called Indians have been renamed to the Hindustanis and surprisingly they've lost access to the Elephant Archer unique unit and instead now train a Ghulam. It literally means a slave. They still have access to the Imperial Camel Riders though and their unique techs remain almost the same. Sultans was renamed to Grand Trunk Road and Shatagni now gives plus 2 range to hand cannoneers instead of plus 1. Literally, Shatagni means 100 fires and it was the name that was given to cannons and guns because it was believed that they had the potential to kill 100 people. Taking a closer look at the changes in the tech tree, it's interesting to note that there have been no changes to the barracks, stable, defensive structures and monastery options. Where changes have occurred though is in the following. Parthian Tactics has been removed, the Ram Line has been replaced by the Armoured Elephant Line, Plate Barding Armour has been added, the Heavy Demolition Ship and Dry Dock Tech have both been removed, Heated Shot has also been removed, and the unique unit changes and unique tech name change that Alien mentioned are there too. All in all, it seems like the Hindustanis are a new Sith. Built to be as unique as the earlier discussed DLC civilizations, the Hindustanis are available to play with the base game. For those who enjoyed the Prithviraj campaign, it's definitely worth a revisit, as while, for the most part, it is the same campaign, there have been some changes, one of which being that you now play as the Gujaras. Now, while there is so much more to unpack within this DLC, I'm actually going to leave it at this for this video. If you do want me to delve into the new unique units, techs, and bonuses of our three new civilizations in further detail, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to put another video together if there's interest in it. But regardless, the best way to learn all the ins and outs of the Dynasties of India DLC is to get your hands on it yourself. I'll put the link in the description for where to go for more information, as well as a link to the complete pronunciation guide that Alien so kindly has put together for us. On that note, I'd like to give the biggest thank you to Alien for all the incredible input he's given to this video. He went absolutely above and beyond, like usual, and it was amazing to be able to collaborate with him in this way. If you enjoyed the video or have any feedback for me, please let me know. I'm always wanting to improve my content, and I really value your opinions, so leave a comment or shoot me a message on Discord if you'd like. The remainder of this video is just the full tech tree and thematic music of the Hindu Sanis to be used as a reference if you ever need it. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time!